Scott Young, um, executive producer of Love and Hip Hop. Yes. And now we have Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Yes. Yes. So <laughs> why not? <laughs> I watched the super trailer because it's premiering tonight, right? Yes, it is. Eight o'clock. VH1. And the thing that gets me is that Stevie J is on the show. Yes. Former producer, bad boy, he used to date Eve. Yes. So is he dating Eve on the show? What's what's going on? No, with that? no, no. I mean, that was a long time ago. He and Eve stopped dating uh, after the videotape. No, I don't know. Yeah, it's been quite some that time. Yeah. <laughs> bow, bow, bow. Okay. So now Stevie J's on the show, but there seems to be some weird love triangle between his n- girlfriend. How long has he been with her? Well, they've been on and off, it seems, for about 14 years. I think during one of their periods of not being together was when the whole Eve thing happened. So they've been together for a very long time on and off. And then he seems to be cheating on her with a uh, stripper slash his artist, Jocelyn or somebody. What's y- Yeah, in Stevie's mind, it's not cheating. It's just sharing the love. And he's Share doing that love, openly on the show. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Real quick, I don't know who you guys are talking about. Stevie, Stevie J. J. Hello. Stevie J. I haven't cared about a Stevie J record for a decade. So, oh. why don't you tell me what was make is going to make this show interesting as compared to the other shows of a similar nature? Okay. Well, the one thing about this show is we have couples on. You know, a lot of times you hear it from the woman's perspective. The man is not even represented, nowhere to be found. So in this show, we have a lot of the couples. So I think that dynamic makes it very different. But the other thing is people always think it's always about the big names, you know, getting the person with the most credits. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's about the people with the best stories, the most compelling stories, people who want to do this, who get it, who are ready to tell their stories. And sometimes that's not the biggest names. Little Scrappy is actually on the show and he's on there. I thought he was going to be on there with Diamond because that's who he was dating. You know, we talked to Diamond in the beginning and I really, really liked her a lot. Um, She just was a little nervous about getting on the show oh, with Mama D. Say to ghetto. Ghetto. That's what I thought. I thought you were going to say she's a little, little ghetto. ghetto. Little ghetto. You guys haven't seen Stevie little J's ghetto. artist. Scrappy and his mom are on oh. and actually his baby mama. Are we no. talking? Erica. Of, no, okay. his mom Gangsta. is ghetto. Mama D. His mom, I heard she used to be a pimp, like an actual She pimp. very openly talks about she used to be a pimp and she used to sell Welcome stuff. to Atlanta, baby. Welcome to oh, Atlanta. Oh, yeah, very, very open about it, too. So what's making Love and Hip Hop Atlanta different from Love and Hip Hop New York? I mean, like I said before, the fact that, you know, this time we've got more couples there. And it's a different, it's a whole different vibe, a whole different swag. You know what I'm saying? The backdrop is different. And there's a different mentality in Atlanta, I've found, especially as it relates to relationships. I mean, the race ratio of men to women is insane and I think that makes for a whole different yeah, when they, like when a yeah. man gets his paycheck in Atlanta he automatically has to take out the money he's going to use at the strip club exactly right like, there you like, go church, everybody walks around with a stack I'm yeah, just like, like church, is this normal kids you know what I'm <laughs> strip club but I mean you've you've managed artists like Busta Rhymes and Missy and mm-hmm. you've actually been in it so how true do you think these stories are in love and hip hop compared to like the actual real world of what we deal with on a daily basis and being in the industry? Well, because I've been on the inside, I know that these stories are very true. That's the thing. A lot of times what seems outrageous to normal folks, this is what goes on. I don't care if nobody wants to talk about it, but this is definitely what goes on. And when I went to Atlanta, the stories that were unfolding there, we couldn't even keep up with how quickly things were happening and how quickly things were changing. Um, what I try to do with this show to make it just like different is string together the stories so that they feel cohesive you know it's not just a bunch of little pods of scenes that have nothing to do with each other it's trying to tell a story from beginning to end and things were unfolding and changing so rapidly out there we couldn't even keep up so absolutely 1000 percent this is what goes on and you all know it too mm-hmm. i've actually been in the strip club too in the strip clubs in miami and one of the cast members on the show stevie j's artist jocelyn is that her name mm-hmm. Her name, I saw her in the strip club. Her name was Chanelica. Chanelica, yep. That oh, was her. God. That was, and my whole thing is, how your real name yes. Jocelyn, but you picked yes. Chanelica yeah. as your yes. stripper name? I don't know. <laughs> but yes, she's very open about the fact that she used to be a stripper. And apparently when she met Stevie, he took her out the strip club and, you know, sold her the dream. I'm make you a star. And so her whole struggle is like not going back. She doesn't want to go back. Love and Hip Hop Atlanta premieres tonight on VH1. Tonight, right, 8 got- p.m. VH1. Set your DVRs. I'm going to tell you right now, new show after this one, Love and Latinos in Long Island. It sounds good <laughs> to me. I love it. <laughs> Love and Latinos in Long Island. I like the way it rolls off the tongue. Let's do it. <laughs>